Hey guys, it's Mohammed here from Tekka Reviews, back again with another video. And today we're going to be unboxing, testing and reviewing Zach Rowe's PS5 controller charging dock. We're going to find out how well this product does and if it's really worth purchasing. But before we do that, as always guys, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, then please hit that like and subscribe button to support your boy, I'd really appreciate that. Let's set a goal of 20 likes before the next video upload, which I know you guys can easily smash. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the Zacro charging dock is pretty much a charging station which you can use to charge your PS5 controller. It has two ports available, allowing you to charge two devices at the same time by simply placing the controller on top of the charging terminal pins. The device is powered by USB Type-C which you can connect to your PS5 or directly to the mains using a power adapter. However, if you're looking for fast charging, then the power adapter option would probably be the best case moving forward. The charging station is also smart enough to provide safety features such as overheating and overcurrent protection, thereby preventing any long-term damage affecting your PS5 controller. In regards to the product breakdown, the charging dock weighs roughly around 150 grams and has a height of 12 and a half centimeters. The material is made from ABS plastic which feels pretty strong and solid and has a gloss finish which is also very nice. The device comes with an LED indicator that turns red when the controller is charging and blue to let you know when it's complete. It has an arc bridge design that looks really good which can also act as a nice display for your PS5 controllers. In terms of packaging, on front you have the Zacro logo as well as an image and name of the device. On the side, you have some product and company information. On the back, you have the Zacro logo again, as well as a blueprint of the product, device name and product features. Finally, on top, you have the Zacro logo again. Inside the box, you get the Zacro PS5 controller charging dock, as well as one angled USB Type-C cable, and finally, a user manual for the charging station. The setup process is pretty straightforward. Connect the USB Type-C cable into the charging station and then connect the second end into a power supply. Place your controller on top, wait for the LED light to appear and you should be good to go from here. Now for some testing. For this test, I'll be connecting the charging dock to my PS5 and directly into the mains. When charging my controller with the base connected to the PS5, it took roughly around two and a half hours to fully charge. However, when charging two controllers at the same time, it took just under 3 hours to fully complete. When connected directly into the mains, the controller took 2 hours to fully complete. And finally, when charging two controllers, it took roughly around 2.5 hours until both devices were up and running. Before we summarise guys, if you found today's video helpful or just simply enjoyed watching it, please show your boy some love by hitting that like button below. Your likes really do help support the channel and it really does mean a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Overall, the Zacro charging dock is a great product for charging your PS5 controllers. The option to charge two controllers at once is always a nice feature to have for any charging station and the inclusion of LED lights is also super handy as it lets you know exactly when your controllers are fully charged. The arc design is probably one of the best I've seen so far and can act as a stand to display your fancy new PS5 controller. The safety features are also a plus and the fast charging allows you to dive back into your game a lot sooner than expected. My only complaint is that if you have a silicon case like I do for your PS5 controller, then you might want to check if you have enough clearance for charging your gamepad, as some cases may be thicker than others, thereby preventing the controller from charging. However, case aside, you get yourself a reliable charging dock that looks great and comes at an affordable price. In terms of pricing, you can pick up the Zacro charging station from Amazon for around £21. However, Zacro have kindly sponsored today's video and we've teamed up together to run a competition where 10 lucky viewers can get an extra £5 off when purchasing the charging dock. To enter this competition, you first have to subscribe to Tekka Reviews if you haven't already and then leave an Amazon review after purchasing your product. Finally, DM the Zacro team on Instagram at Zacro underscore UK and provide them with the following code on screen. Remember guys, there's only 10 slots available, so make sure you grab this deal while you can, before it's gone for good. If you're interested in purchasing the charging dock, 
then you can find the link to purchase in the description below. But that's all from me guys. Are you a fan of controller charging docks? And is the Zacro charging station a device that you would add to your PS5? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Mohammed from Tekka Reviews and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.